Hey everybody, this is Brandon here, and in today's video I'm going to show you how to lock and unlock a viewport and how that can be helpful when editing drawings in paper space or uh, layout space. So as you can see here, I've got a basic uh, pond design with contours, um, a few, a few uh, dimension labels and contour labels, uh, and a section line here and down here. Um, drawing isn't important, but what is is that we don't have a layout set up. We just have the default one, which is plain and doesn't have a title block. So we're going to bring one in from my title block package uh, template, which you can get at titleblocks.com. Uh, the one I'm going to use today is the, in the silver package. So I'm just going to paste in where I've got that saved. And we're going to use bottom... We're going to use Imperial since this drawing is done in Imperial and we're going to use the bottom boxes version. You could also use top, which if you see the uh, title block is along the top. Uh, side, it's along the side. And bottom, it's along the bottom. We're going to use the bottom template in Imperial, IMP. Hit open and it's going to ask us which ones we want to bring in. You could select all of these by holding control. Uh, I just want, I'm going to go with 11 by 17 portrait. All right, now that we've brought it in, I'm going to create a viewport in the middle here. So to do that, I'm going to type in viewport. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to ask me where I want to place it. I'm just going to select the corner there and there. And now I've got a viewport. You can see it auto-scaled it. I don't really care what the scale is right now, but if you wanted to change that, you'd select it and bring up Properties, Control-1, or right-click Properties, and then you can change your standard scale here. So you can see uh, quarter inch equals one foot looks about right. So, you can, oops. so right there is why we want to be able to lock it. I just screwed up my scale by accidentally rolling the mouse wheel uh, to move it around. So say I want to make some edits in here but I don't want to screw up my scale we're going to lock the viewport. So you can do this a few ways. You can select your viewport and right click and then up here display and locked you can click yes and now when I enter viewport by double clicking it highlights but when I move around and zoom in and out it doesn't affect the actual viewport. So when I double click out if I want to move the viewport, like move around what I'm looking at, I'd have to unlock it. So you can do it the same way by right clicking, display lock and going no, or you can use the properties box over here and simply select display locked, yes or no. So I'm going to leave it as yes so that I can make changes inside my uh, layout here, inside the viewport. So right now I can't select anything because we're in paper space or layout space. I can edit my text out here, but nothing in the actual drawing. So I want to delete this dimension right here because we've got two of them. And this one's kind of on top of stuff. So I'm going to double click to enter the viewport. And now I can zoom in and I'm not affecting my scale because it's locked. I selected a contour line. Zoom in some more. There. That's my dimension text. I'm going to delete that by hitting delete. And now I can zoom out, but I'm not changing the scale. And now I can see the full page again. If I wanted to move it or pan it around, I simply select the viewport, unlock it, double click, and now I can pan it around. I can zoom it in and out. I can do whatever I want. So there you have it. Quick, easy way to bring in a title block by using the right-click method. So you'd right-click on the tab and say from layout or from template. That's how I brought in my template. I also show you how to adjust your viewport and lock it. If you have any questions, post them in the comments below. I'll try to answer them as fast as I can. And don't forget to thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Cheers.